Hey, hello, welcome to Convertible Conversations. Thanks for joining me today. I'm here on the banks of the Kansas River, looking across to the other side. It's a really pretty September day, not a cloud in the sky. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but on the other side, straight across from us, there's a little bench over there. I don't know if you can see that bench or not. All right, well, now we're back on uh, looking at me instead of looking across the river. And I'm sitting in a nice little swing bench here on the west side of the Kansas River. I come down here often, and one day I was down here, and I was walking along, and I saw this young woman, attractive young woman, walking towards me. She was uh, had long blonde hair and a white shirt on, like I do, uh, and she had blue shorts on. And she was looking all around, and she came up to this bench that I'm sitting on, and she looked around, and I said, can I help you? And she said, well, I'm looking for my sister, and I was supposed to meet her here, and I can't find her. And she said, have you seen anybody around here? And I said, you know, I haven't seen a soul around here today. And she said, well, she, she's my twin sister. And I, thought, I said, well, you know, I haven't seen anybody, but I would have noticed her, obviously, if she, if she looks like you. Are you identical? And she said, yeah, we're identical twins. And then, all of a sudden, I saw her look on the other side of the river, where this other bench is, and there was another blonde girl over there, long blonde hair, wearing a white top and blue shorts. And this girl sitting next to me said, that's my sister. And I said, really? And she said, yeah, I told her that we were going to meet at the bench. She's on the other side of the river. And so she hollered over at her friend, over at her sister over there. And she said, hey, I'm over here. And all of a sudden her twin sister says, oh, I see you. You're on the other side of the river. And she said, yeah, you're on the other side of the river. And she said, <laughs> I don't know if there's a train going then or not. She said, how do you get to the other side? And the other one said, duh, you're already on the other side. Okay, that's my feeble attempt at a, uh, a dumb blind joke. Now, I don't tell that to tell dumb blind jokes. Every blind that I know is smart, actually. But I tell you that to make a point. So many Christians spend all of our lives trying to figure out how to get close to God, how to get right with God. Hi. Some people say, I just feel so far from God. I want to be close to God. How do I get right to God? And you know what I would think Jesus would say? Without, uh, uh, I think he would have a twinkle in his eye and without any condemnation or shame, he would say, when we ask him, how do we get close to God? He would say, duh, you're already there. I put you there. I did it for you. So that's my point today. That's what I wanted to tell you all. Anytime that you think you're far from God or not close to God or God's far from you or whatever, if you'll listen to him, I think you'll hear him saying, and I know he wants you to hear, duh, you're already there. Now, relax and enjoy it. Enjoy me. You're already there. Okay. Uh, thanks for your grace for my feeble attempt at a little joke, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. And remember, anytime you think you're not close to God or you want to get close to God, remember, duh, you're already there. See you next time.